Welcome back, fellow fans of Clash of Clans, or of course, if it's your first time here, make sure you hit that subscribe button because we've got big update information coming soon. But today, we're going to clarify some update stuff at the end of this episode, and now we're going to talk about the Grand Warden being used to defuse bombs, most specifically the bomb that just annihilated all of those balloons right there. That's right, the Giga Tesla's Giga Bomb. Is there a name for that thing? I don't know. But when the town hall explodes, of course, you've got the Giga Tesla leaving that giant bomb behind. It does blast both ground and air troops. And if you don't use the Warden's ability correctly, if you don't have the Warden near the center, then something like this could happen. And of course, it doesn't one-shot Electro Dragons. It does do severe damage to them. It will one-shot just about any other lower hit point troop. And so we're going to show some examples of good use of the Grand Warden to defuse the Giga Tesla bomb. Now, of course, it's not always going to be easy to get this done. It does involve some funneling. You've got to have a little bit of luck sometimes. And a base like this, if you wanted to be sure to do it, you have to come from that right-hand side. Here, Spikus chose to come from the top right rather than the bottom right direct path to the town hall. But notice, as the troops work their way there, they will kind of round that corner where there's the big gap, head towards the town hall, and here comes the warden. He's definitely within range. So when they finally get the single target Inferno down, there the Giga Tesla is activated. Everybody's moving in. Wait for it. Watch as everybody closes in as the town hall is just about to go down. There's the ability. Will it last long enough? The town hall goes down and there's the bomb. And sure enough, just barely protecting the Barbarian King, primarily also those Electro Dragons. And this right here may have been the difference between a two and a three star attack. If you'll notice towards the end, not a lot of units remaining. The Giga Tesla's bomb most certainly would have taken out the majority of the attacking force and probably held Spikus to a two star. So we will wrap up the rest of this attack and just wanted to remind you guys, I know a lot of concern has been raised over the clan war leagues and how it is going to affect the game, how it is going to affect clan wars and clans and everything else. I'm going to try to answer some of those questions at the end and anything that I cannot answer, I am going to pose to Supercell's Clash of Clans team and get you guys the answer as soon as humanly possible. All right, so Spikus right here, wrapping it up over Kairos PT, and it looks like this almost could have made a 99 or 100 episode, as it does indeed come down to the Archer Queen and the Inferno Tower, but, yeah, you know, maybe not quite close enough to be 99 or 100, you make the call. Okay, let's move on to a Clan War attack, and Raukoi, this Raukoi, he, he's going to get his own episode. We're going to break down the tutorial on Lava Loon, which is maybe one of the strongest, okay, maybe the strongest attack at Town Hall 12 when executed correctly. You know, Electro Dragons, you see a lot of it on my channel. I'm just going to be honest with you guys. It's a lot of spam, okay? There's, there's not as much to these single stage attacks of Electro Dragon and sometimes Lava Loon, but I feel like the Lava Loon with the kill squad like this is a little bit more involved in strategy than just spamming a bunch of giant blue dragons and hoping for the best. Oh, and it's spell timing and placement. Okay. But let's watch Raukoi. In this attack, you are going to see him use the Warden's ability very effectively, but not until he's gotten about a third of this base down with the heroes and that wall wrecker coming in. You'll notice the wall wrecker carried an unlikely cargo. That's right, a golem, you guys. Beautiful use of the tank right there. The golem gets into the core and helps keep the heroes alive a bit longer. Now you see the lava loon portion of this attack as the lava hounds pop early. Tons of balloons. You'll notice he's got almost a dozen more yet to be deployed. A balance of freeze, rage, and haste spells. And like any good La Loon attack, this is not just spam. Very precise dropping of balloons, placement of the balloons, pathing of the... Oh wait, there it is! There it is, I got to talking too much, and there you can see the Warden's ability. Now, maybe a little bit of luck, or if we ask Raukoi, it was planned all along. Dropping that Grand Warden and getting him in there on top of the Giga Tesla bomb. And look at how many balloons. If we saw that, 
it would have taken out just about the entire attacking balloon force. Instead, they are there to wipe out the rest of this base. He's even got a couple of extra balloons to come in as cleanup crew. On the bottom left, you've got the barbs, the barb king, and of course, 8,473 fire spirits, baby minions, lava pups. That's it, lava pups. I got it. Third tries a charm. First try for Raukoi as he picks up another triple in Clan War using the Grand Warden to defuse the Giga Tesla bomb. All right, let's move on to another one. This one from Chowth, and notice where the town hall is. Notice how close to the edge it is in these anti three star bases. So, this is a perfect example of a great opportunity to take out what is one of the most powerful defenses in the game, that being the Giga Tesla and the bomb that goes off afterwards. There you can see the Grand Warden's ability protected just about everybody. And also, this base extremely lopsided, all of the air defenses on one side. So, just a matter of seconds into this attack. All of the ADs are down, and that Town Hall is down. The Giga Tesla's bomb completely neutralized. Now just a matter of getting through the core. The Eagle's gone. Getting those two Inferno Towers out of the way. And notice the spread right here. Notice the wave. A perfectly aligned group of units moving their way from top left to bottom right, almost as if programmed. I mean, that just it looks, it looks pretty, if you ask me. That is a beautiful wave of big blue Electro Dragons just absolutely destroying the rest of this base. We get a chance to watch some of that awesome chain lightning as they take down multiple structures at a time. And Chowth, of course, wrapping up another easy triple right here. And it really, it seems like the turning point was again early in the raid when the Warden made sure that that Giga Tesla's bomb did not hurt anybody. He is he is so thoughtful, such a, such a nice Warden. All right, let's move on to some comments before we wrap things up. Again, I wanted to talk about the engineered war that I spoke of between the Martians and the noobs. Uh, yeah, it was definitely a polarizing subject. A lot of people feel that engineering is more like cheating. Other people say all's fair. If it's legal in the game, you should absolutely do it. So it was interesting to see the community's reaction. Obviously, Supercell trying to tune down the presence of engineering. But check out Watermelon. He says, for many years when I was a soccer official, it was my responsibility to enforce the laws of the game. Now, what he's talking about here is the spirit of the law versus the letter of the law. And personally, I would have to agree. Yes, engineering does not break the terms of service, but no, it is not within the spirit of the game. And I can also tell you this from off the record conversations with the Clash of Clans team. They never intended for this to happen. They never really saw this. Back at the beginning when they created Clan Wars, they did not foresee the great lengths that players would take to engineer wars and bases like this. So yes, it definitely is not within the spirit of Clash of Clans. Now moving on to other questions, a lot of you wanted to know if War Leagues are the only thing coming in the October update. I would expect that we will see Halloween type stuff coming as well. Look back to previous Halloweens if you want an indication of what might be coming this Halloween. But personally, I would also think that the Clan War Leagues are such a huge undertaking that I wouldn't expect much else other than that and maybe a Halloween obstacle, hopefully not named Halloween obstacle. Thank you. All right, other questions regarding the Clan War Leagues. Now, people worried is or worried or hopeful that engineering will be killed. Also, people concerned about the FWA and how that is working right now. People trying to get free loot, not really, again, the spirit of what wars were designed to do. And then people that are worried that clan wars are being taken out completely. Uh, I don't have any firm information on all of this yet, but I, just from my personal standpoint, I, I cannot possibly see them removing clan wars. Remember that the clan war leagues only go for eight days a month. There is no way that they've removed clan wars from the rest of the game. So, Clan Wars are going to continue, I'm sure of it. Uh, I don't know exactly how it's going to work, if they're going to pause during those eight days or what, but FWA and Engineering are probably a thing of the past for CWL, but probably not for other outside regular Clan Wars. 
Also, a popular comment was the worry that it was 15v15. A lot of players, for some reason, seem to think that 10v10 would work better. So you know what I will do? I will pass this information on to Supercell and let them know just how many of you commented that 10v10 seems much more reasonable for a clan to achieve than 15v15. A lot of players were also asking about when this update is coming. You know, it's Halloween. I can All I can tell you is Supercell said October. So I would expect it on or before Halloween. That's that's all I can say for, for right now. But I promise you, as soon as I know more, I will tell you guys first. All right, cleaning up some other comments. Uh, Sharath commenting about me being in Norsk Global. I actually don't do this for the bases. I know that doesn't work. I made a video on that. I do it so that I can hang out in Global. The Global chat in Norsk is usually a little more interesting than English. And then John picked up on the troll pause at the end of that replay. Thank you for catching that, John. Johnny, very awesome comment. It was so kind. I honestly didn't know whether to take it seriously or not, but uh, you're most welcome. And let's get cracking. Says he watches the videos just to hear Peter at the end. That Why is this comment even here? Uh, let's see. All right. Kit Kat says a Tesla. Oh, yeah. The picture of my Tesla being towed. So I thought this was good. Trying to park it at the gas pump. Or maybe it was just because I didn't get to 7,000 trophies. Turns out, uh, somebody blew the rear motor in the thing already. Uh, I don't know. I don't drive it that hard. Maybe. Unless there's a 911 Turbo next to me. But that's a story for another day. Thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you all back here again tomorrow after you've been kind to other people and animals for more full attacks. Put up with 10 minutes of you for 10 seconds of Peter $17.